Hey, International Poetry Circle. It's me, Tara Skirtu, in my apartment in Bucharest, Romania. And tonight, I'm with one of my best friends in the whole world, singer, songwriter, musician, player of many instruments, Janae Halstead. And uh, Janae, where are you right now? I'm in Spokane, Washington. <laughs> Janae and I have known each other for, we, we just realized this, 14 years. And we met in Boston and we knew each other before I had written any good poems and before Janae had a first album. And we've supported and watched each other's careers grow uh, for over a decade. And it's amazing to see where you are now, um, where well. we've gotten. And Janae has a new album coming out in September. It's called Disposable Love, and it is fire. It is so good. I've been listening to it nonstop because I get a sneak peek uh, for the past two days. It's incredible. And Janae and I have this tradition, long-standing tradition, um, of combining music and uh, poetry. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the word. Uh, so Janae, will you tell everybody about our tradition? Yes, our tradition started with my first CD release and Tara um, opened the CD release by reading poems and her poems and uh, we've done it ever since. So we're gonna have to figure out what to do in the fall. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. We a, maybe we'll exactly. be able to travel. <laughs> well, exactly. We do a traveling show. <laughs> So now we're all in isolation, and since we're not in the same city, but we can be in the same place online because technology is amazing, uh, we're going to do some music and poetry together. <laughs> so, Janae, will you start us off with a song from your new album, please? Yeah. This is called Brother. Redfish, bluefish, Mickey's back in town. They all love a rebel, but they don't him back around. He was lost, now he's found. You didn't even make the list. A rebel without cause, a grifter with no grit. Billy's on the deck waiting. We're all there to see There's a river that runs through it But what about me? Sundown, hands up I'm walking with the crew Jean jacket, collar up I'm taking back the stew Dust lips, tight waves Me. 
what about me? What about me? What about me? <laughs> Thank you, Janae. Oh, I love yours. I love this album so much. <laughs> We're experiencing some slight technical glitches right now um, on Zoom. I think it's just overloaded, so there, it's going to freeze a little bit, but we're just gonna keep going. Did it freeze a little? A little bit, it, but it was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to continue with the theme of family. I'm gonna read two tiny new poems that speak to each other. Mercy, or is it faith continually approaching a given love that won't meet you at any finite distance? You can easily be forgotten in the unforgiving blood of the family. And faith, or is it mercy continually approaching a given God that won't meet you at any finite distance. What the poet thought as he jumped from the fourth floor, an old television in his arms as he said, now I can fly. Those are amazing. <laughs> when did you write those? Um, the last one I just finished, uh, it's the only thing I've, I've written since the self-isolation quarantine has started. Um, I finished the last half of that a couple weeks ago, and the first half I started a couple months ago. <laughs> I'm really slow, as you know. Uh, I also love that you write things by hand. You write your songs by hand. I do. I mean, I try, I, it's funny, because I, I started like, um, doing a lot more like free writing on, on the computer recently. Yeah. But yeah. There's like, like a very visceral, I don't have the fancy pens like you do, but it's, I am getting to the point where I'm like, if a pen doesn't work, I'm like, damn, you know, <laughs> it's just like a visceral, you know, thing to that. I always feel like you have to earn or deserve to be able to use one of those nice pens. I don't know. That's a silly like thought. Oh, there's, like, the there's yeah. It's so easy. You just have to hold it this way instead of that way. <laughs> this is the brilliant thing about living in Europe. Everyone that I know learned how, at least in Romania, everyone I know learned how to write with fountain pens. So wow. you can hand your fountain pen to someone and they won't write backwards with it. It doesn't usually happen when I'm in Boston, or Florida. So um, but you also taught me something about uh, lyrics because, you know, you've always been like, Tara, like you can write lyrics. And I'm always yeah. like, no, I can't. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't rhyme at the end of lines. I'm really bad at that. And I remember one thing you told me that I, I say often is, um, no, Tara, a lot of songs are just uh, poems. Sh no, a lot of songs are just shitty poems with hooks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the funniest things um, you've told me. I never forgot that. But your, your songs are good poems with good hooks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Will you play us another one, please? I would love to. This is called Mother, and it's um, it's kind of my ode to um, what's going on right now with the planet. So, and I think it's very timely. So, mother's coming, coming up from the under earth. There's no use running. Holding on only gets you hurt All is quiet and still Static and shrill as the world starts to tear Mother's crying Your home has been swept away Her hands are burning Baptizing the land in gray All is quiet and still Static and shrill as you gather your will And everything you thought you knew is changed Look inside your world has rearranged you're in the eye of the hurricane. 
Mother's calling, begging, pleading to get to you, but you're not listening. Your future is falling through. You're quiet and still, static and shrill, watching the water rising and tail. Everything you thought you knew is changed. Look outside your world has rearranged. You thought you had time, you thought you had time. There's no more time, no more time, no more time. And everything you thought you knew has changed. Oh, look inside, your world has rearranged. Oh, and everything you thought you knew has changed. the cheat sheet on that i had my little scrolly thing here I like <laughs> i don't know the song yet <laughs> i like your little scrolly thing but that's really true um i always say that like the the poem that i the last poem i just read i think i read it out loud to an intended audience once and yeah. you really have to teach yourself how to read your new poems I, i'm sure it's the Absolutely. same with poems right oh yeah I always tell my students, I'm like, do not perform a song unless you like can do it in your sleep, like forward, backwards, cartwheels, everything. So that's why like, you know, I'm gearing up now for the CD release. And it was, it was great. Cause we did a single release like a few months back and it's just so helpful because it just takes a long time to really get this stuff in your, like, I find like you have to get it in your like reptilian brain. Yep, you know, no, it's it's totally. I'm always saying like, especially poetry. Um, I feel like it hits you back here. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you were on NPR recently uh, in Boston. You, yeah, they played. Um, I think it was WB. What what's the the age? WBR. 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 Yeah. I listen to it every day, even though I'm in Bucharest. I should. I know. I'm like. I always get the two mixed up, WBR and WGBH. I'm and I said WGH. Yeah, but. but you had you had your your title song from the album featured on yeah. it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They featured it. So a badass. Fun. It's 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 awesome. I'm I feel like I'm getting a lot of love from Boston and that's really wonderful, you know, because it means a lot to me. So what are you gonna read? <laughs> I'm going to read a poem that um, is unexpectedly timely right now. Um, I, I was getting over, um, I was in the middle of a heartbreak and I was staying at this hotel and I thought, I'm going to get out of bed and go to the gym. And then I found myself on a virtual hike, which seems very timely right now. I would love to be on a virtual hike. It's <laughs> <laughs> called... Grand Staircase Hike, and there are some italics, um, and these are things that the elliptical was saying to me, and I looked crazy. I was on this machine um, doing the hike over and over again so I could dictate the words because I knew that they would make it into a poem. Oh my god, that's so great. <laughs> Grand Staircase Hike. Who would have known this year's heartbreak would end on a virtual hike? through the Grand Canyon, on an elliptical, in a Bucharest hotel gym. 
Toadstool rocks are made up of volcanic ash covered by a thick layer of basalt. Over time, the weaker ash is eroded. The last time I was in this hotel, I got into bed and turned on the TV to a naked woman in the woods next to a naked man urinating into his cupped palms. There must be better ways not to die from nature. Tonight, I'm in flip-flops, swinging my arms and pumping my legs through the pink sands of Zion Canyon to the black volcanic debris of Sunset Crater. I've never gone nowhere so far. I'm unequipped to quit what I'm here to quit, but I'm moving ash to stronger ash. Keep it up. You're almost there. You're getting ready for a geological rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> geological rainbow you can't make that up no, I'm like I'm always like that's my favorite this is my new favorite <laughs> <laughs> that's how you feel about your songs oh, I love it <laughs> um will you read me one of my favorites the amoeba game for you anything always hey. <laughs> you want the amoeba game yeah <laughs> okay This comes from a game I played in uh, in Brownies. I had to be in Girl Scouts when I was a kid, and I was a very yeah. quiet kid. You did too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, like, the striped brown and white with the orange, like, tie, necktie, and the weird socks, and, like... And all the... I forgot about the socks. Oh, and the, badges. Badges. the badges you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom was an assistant leader. What did you say? And the beads and, like, so weird and they made you sell cookies and um you didn't really get anything from it but the boy scouts they got all kinds of things because my my mom was an assistant girl scout leader my my dad was a cub scout leader so i went to boy scouts and girl scouts and the boy scouts they got all kinds of things like hatchets when they when they sold things um we didn't really get anything we were just selling cookies all the time wow. at least they're we got to go to camp and camp was awesome you know what? Camp. That's what we got. That's probably what we got because we went to camp. Yeah. Camp Swaylocken. It's in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. It was amazing. But <laughs> Camp Wolaka for me. What's that? Camp Wolaka. <laughs> did you have a song for your camp? Yes. We did too. Our home is up high on a hillside. The forest <laughs> with tree deep ivory green. The tall swinging pine trees and bushes. Oh. I can't. There's a haven of beauty and friendship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, the the things our brains remember. Now I forgot one of the words, but it's like something like you call it something, but I call it something, but you may call it madness. I can't remember. Stay here yeah. with us and you'll forget your sadness. <laughs> and most of the time I was just dying to go home. But, yeah, yeah. but not missing anyone in particular. I just like wanted my yeah. head. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. My dad pulled up a, a letter that I wrote them from camp the other day. He was like, look what I found. And it, I was like, in the letter, it was fifth grade. And I was like, why haven't you guys written me? My parents were like so excited to just like get rid <laughs> I, I I do. Oh man, I uh, I never knew this. See? Yeah, that's so we funny. Things about I each know. other our whole Same lives. Word. I know. Amazing. I wish we were at Girl Scout camp together. I would never want to go home. I know, right? We need to make that happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the amoeba game. I stood at the stove holding a wooden spoon in my right hand, listening to butter sputtering against the splattered circle of an egg. Perhaps it was the flapping of the egg's wavy edges against the steel pan, or the amorphousness of its innards outside the carriage of its brown shell. I remembered an odd game I played in brownies, the amoeba game. In the front yard of the scout cabin, one girl at a time would become an amoeba and lead the rest. We didn't know what amoebas were, only that they weren't human or animal and moved like a thousand blind legs treading through molasses. 
so it was that our heads and arms became legs and feet undulating wayward into dusk. Swaying our shoulders left to right, we giggle through mouths we weren't supposed to have, pretending we had no eyes and didn't know where we came from or where we were going. I love that poem. I'm glad I went to Girl Scouts now because I got that poem. Right? <laughs> well yeah. worth it. Oh, this was so wonderful. Thank you for being here with me and with all of us made my week so much better. Oh, me too. This was the highlight of my day and I hope it, it, um, it helps other people and makes you at International Poetry Circle feel happy. And um, thank you, Janae, for bridging the gap between uh, the music and poetry world. Janae does this all the time. It's, it, it's amazing because a lot of times poetry stays within the poetry world, but it's, it's a thing for everybody. It's storytelling. Yeah. It just makes your brain dance instead of your body. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Janae. Thank you. Love you. I love you. And everybody, keep an eye out for um, or an ear for Janae's album. It's dropping in September. It's called Disposable Love. And you can find uh, the song Disposable Love on the internet, right? Yep. On Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, Tidal, you name it. You name it. Bandcamp. <laughs> stay safe. Stay well. Stay home if you can. Um, and. Um, Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye.